Alex G. Spano Center at University of the Pacific in Stockton played host to the 2008 California Community College Association Basketball Championships, the most important weekend in JC Hoops. Every game is do or die, win or go home. All a team can do is go on the court and give everything they have and hope it was enough at the end of the game. The Citrus Owls enter the state tournament with the number one seed in the South. They enter the tournament with a 32-1 overall record and a perfect 12-0 record in Western State Conference South Division play. In their first round game, they would be facing the College of the Sequoias. The winner would advance to play the winner of the Los Angeles Trey Tech vs. Fresno City College game, which would be played later on in the first day. LA Trey Tech was the number three seed in the South, and Fresno had the number two North seed. The Giants would strike early, getting the first points of the game, but the Owls would quickly get their first lead of the contest off a three-pointer from sophomore guard Virgil Buensucesso. The Owls would try and increase their lead, but had no such luck with a missed three-point shot attempt from guard Buchi Awaji. Sophomore guard Nate Richardson added two points as he drives the lane against the Sequoia's defense. Giants forward Anthony Jones tries to get some points for his team, but Troy Payne grabbed the offensive board. And freshman guard A.J. Gasporo would draw the offensive foul. Virgil Buensucesso attempts a shot from inside the key, but the attempt was no good. A three-point shot by Sequoia's Akinocho Yuntz fell short, and Buensucesso picks up the rebound, giving the ball to Ralph Mende for the slam dunk. The Owls attempt to set up a play to get past the Giants' defense, and they did just that. When Monday drives the lane, it gets two points, plus a trip to the free throw line. <laughs> Owls guard Nate Richardson surveys the floor, driving to his left, and gave the ball to Richard Froelich for the skyhook. Monday would add another two points to the Owls' lead with a layup. A.J. Gaspora attempts to break through the Giants' defense, but instead gives the ball to Richardson, who sinks the three-pointer. The Owls' sophomore guard, Jeremy Smith, passes the ball to Monday, who sinks the 20-footer. And a three-pointer by Smith locked up the victory for the Owls, winning 73-55 and a spot in the Final Four. In Game 2, the Owls took on Los Angeles Trade Tech College. LA Trade Tech entered the game with a 28-4 record and were crowned the South Coast North Division Champions with a 9-1 record in conference play. The Owls struggled throughout the first half, shooting only 25% from the field and went into halftime trailing 45-36. Owls forward Troy Payne's inside jump shot was no good, but Beavers center Nick Pasitti would be successful in his layup to add to the Beavers' lead. The Owls did have some highlights in the first half with Buen Suceso's long three-point jump shot. But the Beavers' James Lewis would silence the Owls' faithful when he hit a jumper of his own. In the second half, the Owls' fortunes completely turned around as they shot 55% from the field and 70.6% from the free throw line. The Beavers' Robert Summers attempts to take the ball down the court, but Owls guard Darren Moore strips the ball and results in two points, much to the delight of the Owls fans, including former Owls player Sean Hall. <laughs> Owls guard Buchi Awaji added to Citrus's growing lead with a big slam dunk. And as the final seconds ticked away, the Owls held on to their lead and locked their spot in the championship game against the Fullerton College Hornets. <laughs> um, to see the, the way how they were, they were down the first half and to see their comeback, um, how are you feeling as a fan? It was, it was unbelievable. It was, uh, 
it was almost like two separate games. First half, they looked a little tentative. Second half was unbelievable. I think they scored 65 points. It was uh, The threes were falling, the defense. I think the Citrus did not want to go home tonight. They, they wanted to play in that state championship. So it was, it was awesome as a fan. I mean, people were re really jacked up about the game. You guys are one game away from uh, ultimate early. You guys set out for in the the season. Um, how are you and your teammates feeling? Uh, man, we're, we're so excited right now. I, mean, I can't even... I can't even express it. You know, it's first time in school history that they've ever gotten this far. Uh, we played our, we played our, we played our hardest. You know, first half we didn't, we wasn't shooting the ball too well. Second half we came in here, we talked it out, we, we said it, we said it. We was gonna throw the first punch. We came out, and we just we threw the first punch and then never recovered from it. And I just, I was, I'm just very excited, man. I can't, I just can't express it. Yeah, you know, speaking about the second half, you know, for, for the past two months, so you guys have been a, a second half team. And you know, um, second half, I mean, AJ was hit, was hitting his shots from three-point land and Darren was hitting his shots and you were and so what do you think it is about that in the second half you guys just come out on see, fire. See what sets us apart from most of these other teams is that we prepare for the second half. We prepare for the second half. We condition for the second half. We're a second half team. While these other teams come out second half tired, we come out in the second half ready with energy and then that's, what, that's, what, that's, that's how we kill most teams. We put them away in the second half and I think that's, that's huge. It's conditioning. And that's what we do in practice. All right.